everyone, I'm Holly with Missouri River Soap and I am going to make a holiday soap today. And this is going to be called um, Snow and Mistletoe. My favorite part of that one song, I believe it's I'll Be Home for Christmas. So it says, please have snow and mistletoe. I just love that. So that's what we're going with. I'm going to put in the coconut milk. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that into the base oils. I'm going to put in the lye solution now. There's a little bit of lye lint because it's been um, cooled off for quite a while. And that's just pretty normal. I'm going to put in the fragrance oil. It is a blend of black plum and pine needles. Such a lovely fragrance. The notes on this fragrance says it's pl that it plays really nice. It is kind of going a bright yellow here, but I'm not too concerned about it. This is a fresh and clean fragrance. You get that from like the neat pine needles and kind of some fresh air, but then it has the fruity behind it, which is really nice. Okay, it's basically just emulsified at this point. I'm soaping at room temperature, which today is pretty cool. I'm not quite sure what my doodad says. Let's see. It says it's 68 in here. And everything is well cooled off, so it'll be easy to work with, or at least it should be, typically. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some off. I'm going to have just a little bit in this cup, but I probably should pour the bigger amounts first. Let me think this through for just a moment. I want a green and a white and a blue. And then just a little bit in another cup for just an accent swirl on the top. Nothing much. And that's going to be as if we can get that accomplished. I don't need much. I think I'm going to go ahead and make this the white base. And I did want just a little bit of white in each of the blue and the green. Just kind of make it a little bit of an icy color. And I'm kind of working off to the side here. But I have some green mixed up. And some blue. And we're just going to see how that goes. I'm going to start with mixing the white. I'm going to make a racket because it's very low. I don't need much of a blend. I can mix the rest. soap up on the edges. That way it will pull down that other soap that is not whitened and help it to mix in better. These are looking exactly how I wanted them to. Oh, that's a lovely blue. Very nice. I mixed some 
Brilliant Blue. Nope, nope. Let's back that up. I mixed Blue Vibrance and Klein Blue from Nurture Soap Supplies. And this is just a lovely color. So into this little one, I'm just going to add a little bit of Merlot Mica. Might be, I think I added a little bit of Voodoo from Mad Micas also. And we'll just see what happens. I probably shouldn't have done this one with any sort of fragrance in it. I think I was a little heavy handed on my blending. This is getting pretty thick already. I thought a really heavy swirl would be nice. So I'm going to be quite heavy handed when I'm pouring. That's looking super so far. I'm going to add in a little bit more of the green before I add in white. Okay, so let's put in the white. I'm just kind of going with a frosty, just a real frosty, uh, snowy, mistletoe type of a thing. Now, I'm doing mostly the green and not so much the red inside. I just decided I didn't want the red inside. It was just not the vision I had. Now in with the blue. Let's get the rest of it in there. It is getting plenty thick around here. the rest of this white. There's not a lot left here. I'll try to cover the top as best as I can. Just a real thin layer. Just going to smooth it out. I'm totally fine if those under colors show up. In fact, I think it's quite beautiful. Alright, I'm just going to drizzle this on, hopefully. It's not going to, not really going to let me drizzle too much, but we'll, we'll see if we can make it work. I definitely saved too much of this red. I didn't want quite that much. I was going to try to see if that would scoop up, but of course not. So now I'm just going to take this little skewer candy apple stick. And I'm just going to swirl it a little bit. Just to kind of bring in that red of the mistletoe. Without it being just a red soap, if that makes sense to you. I think it's going to be really pretty with just that little top of red. So it's going to swirl those bigger blobs around. And I like to break up those lines a little bit. The Voodoo from Mad Micas with the Merlot Mica from Brambleberry actually made such a nice color. I don't think I'm going to do anything more than that. I just don't think that's in my best interest. I have a little bit of this um, Sparkle Me Red from Mad Micas. I just love it. It's so good. I'm just going to give it a little 
spritz of glitter. I just feel like it needs it. Just to kind of bring on that snow and mistletoe and it's the holidays with all the shimmer and shine. Oh, that's beautiful. That really set it off. I'm going to add just a little bit of gold because I just feel like it needs it. Just needs that kind of elegant shimmer to it. This does not come out very quick. It does not give much of a coating. So here we have the Snow and Mistletoe Soap. And I will see you back here for the cut. Okay, so it is time to cut snow and mistletoe and it turned out exactly as I was hoping. So I'm quite pleased. I was a little nervous for a little bit, but it did work out as I desired. Looks like we have a little bit of specklage from the titanium dioxide. That's what I always worry about about using new titanium dioxide. I'm not quite sure how it's going to function each time. Hopefully I can get my regular one back soon because I do absolutely love it. Now I'm not really seeing much speckage otherwise so it could have just been that one in particular. This is so pretty. I love it. This bar right here, just, I don't know, I love it. Isn't that nice? So fun. And it's just kind of non-traditional, but the idea was just snow and mistletoe and not just green and red or blue and white. I love it. I love how it turned out is putting all those colors together. And I like, ooh, that's a neat bar. I like having just the hint of red on the top. That's so fun. Yes, these turned out wonderfully. Right now I'm not picking up as much fruity in this fragrance. I'm, I'm definitely getting more of a woodsy vibe to it. And I thought that could end up being the case just based on how I was, um, that looks like it needs to be samples, just how I was sniffing the fragrance out of bottle, O-O-B. Um, when you do that, you can't always, out of bottle is not always how it's going to turn up. Sometimes, sometimes for sure but not always. Sometimes it will just completely surprise you when you put it in a product. And it could be different between soap where it reacts with the lye or wax or bath bombs where it's being um, reacting basically with the citric acid. It's all different and I think that's fun too. So this was an end piece and it almost strikes me as being a little thick here on this end. Sometimes we don't always get them exact and it's usually just a matter of just the tiniest, tiniest bit. But it does seem just a hint wide to me. I'm sure it'll still fit in the soap boxes and everything when all said and done. We do plain and bevel all of our soap bars. I just think it finishes them off just right. They're a little too rough for me, just straight from the cut. We go through quite a lot to clean up our soap bars. We do spend a lot of time working on the planing and the beveling and making sure they're all just smooth and beautiful. So here we have this in piece. I think I will leave one big one for us to test and then the rest will be for samples. I just love having samples. So then we just put them back on the trays. We like to, yeah, see, can you see how 
that's taller. So yeah, that happened. It's okay. It's a okay. So we let them sit on the trays for two to three weeks, and then usually pull them off, do the cleanup, and then back on the tray if we don't really have the space or the time to be boxing. Oh look, it almost looks like a heart there on the corner. Huh? That's so cool. Sometimes we'll decide we're being clever and just start boxing everything up, but I don't have the labels ready. And the next thing we know, we have one of these tables just full of box soap needing labels and sometimes you just need the counter space so back on the trays they go and nice clean way to store all of these until we get to them so there we have our snow and mistletoe soap which is new for holiday 2019 and I'll see you back here for the next video Thanks for watching. Bye.